Hello, everyone. Please excuse my face. It's swollen. I've been crying all fucking day. I was just terminated from my position, long story short, for doing, well, nothing really bad, really. Uh, basically, I did a video about grief and terminal weaning and forgot to take the lanyard off. They had just, they said I wasn't on my 90-day onboarding, which is another word for 90-day probation. They don't use that term anymore. Not, they didn't write me up. They didn't do anything. Because I wasn't done with it, what did they do? They just said you're terminated. They're terminated over a lanyard because an anonymous caller called recognizing the lanyard. And because I said one cuss word. One cuss word and all of a sudden. Um, it wasn't even about them. That's the thing I don't get. The video was not even about them. It was about grief and letting someone go and how some people want to die with dignity using terminal weaning. What? <sighs> I had patients that I really loved seeing and some of them were very happy to see me and I now they're going to feel like I totally abandoned them. They couldn't even get me referrals for fuck's sake. Okay? Barely when I started that position. They told me that I didn't have to hustle for those. Now, guess what? They changed the whole thing. It, oh, it's a lot of bullshit. I just wish that... I just wish that I could get a position where people didn't lie about what they were offering. Where they actually offered that, what they were offering in a salary, actually meant what they meant. You know, I call it WYSIWYG, or most people called it WYSIWYG back in the day. What you see is what you get. And I... All I have to do is help patients or clients out without having to look for them, look for my own referrals when I'm working with clients and patients and not have to worry about where the hell am I going to pay my bill? How am I going to pay my car payments? How am I going to pay my student loans? How am I going to do all of this, right? No, those people don't care. Corporate. Mental health has become a corporation where they forgot why mental health is around. It's a money-making scheme now with corporate. And it's sad because it's not about the patients anymore. It's about the money and the revenue. And that hurts because that's not why I joined. That's not why I decided to be this. It's not why I decided to be a licensed mental health clinician and end of life doula. I did it because I love the work and I love working with clients and patients and I love sitting with them and listening to them and helping them with their treatment plans and their treatment goals. But no, 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 that's never going to be enough when it's corporate. <sighs> I know this video is probably, I'm not even going to have the comments open on it because I don't want to deal with assholes because people are assholes on social media, let's be honest. But <laughs> I worked really, really fucking hard. And, um... I love what I do because I come from that world, okay? I come from that world. I come from that background. I've been in the hospital because of my own mental health issues. I've been there. <laughs> Not only that, but I also am diagnosed with level one autism spectrum disorder and ADHD, uh, generalized anxiety disorder, major depressive. I've got that stuff. <laughs> I'm on medication. I get what it feels like. I know what that feels like. So I guess I have to go through my own grief process, strangely enough. Because this hurts. And I don't know where my next dime is coming from. And I'm starting to realize why people start joining places like, you know, that place people join to do spicy videos. I'm not going to do that. I do not have that much faith or I don't consider myself that sexy or beautiful, honestly. So I'm not going to torture people with that. But um, I really... This doesn't make me look good, I know. But I'm going to need some time because I don't have the time to really grieve this. I have to jump in and look for work. And it's not going to be work with that, that needs fee-for-service. I cannot do fee-for-service work anymore. It's it's not s sustainable. It isn't. Not for me. Okay, I can't do fee-for-service work anymore. I don't want to deal with the IRS like that. I just want a salaried mental health position that is a salary that I earned, like 75 k a year, you know, something of, of that vicinity where I'm not the one hunting for clients or patients. I'm actually just 
helping them with their treatment goals and treatment plans, and that's worth more than 75 k a year. I shouldn't have to be running after clients. I shouldn't have to be running for patients. I should, you know, when, I don't want to do that. I just want to help them. And I want to get paid for it. And I want to get paid a sustainable living. And I deserve that. And I was just getting used to driving to work again after working from home for four years. But no. No, because it's corporate, because they have all these things. And I, I, there's a part of me that truly believes they just wanted to fire me because I couldn't get enough referrals. Okay. And that's not on me. That's on the place I was working at and on them. I truly believe they should never have screwed up what they screwed up in the beginning when I was offered this position. I just wanted to work with people who needed help and try to help them through and actually make a sustainable living. I really wanted to retire at this place and it's a lie. So I can't work for any more lies. If you're interested in a licensed clinician who is not going to travel two hours to New York City, who lives on Long Island in North Babylon, because I don't need having to travel hours away, who you want to just work with patients and clients without having to run and look for referrals or clients or patients. You're just paying me that sustainable living because you know that when I work with them, I'm going to help them reach their goals. Well, great, hire me because I'm there for them. But I know that this is going to make me look bad anyway, so whatever. I just, I'm not okay today. And um, I'm just not okay. That's all.